Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Do you mind if I bring Molly? No, no, fine. That's not a problem. I'll see ya. Debbie wants to see me. You want what? Didn't say. She sounded... Well, something's not right. Don't go. <sighs> She's been through a lot. You saw how she was the other day. She's suffering. What, and you're not? I'm sorry, Chaz. You can do without this. She was the last person to see Jenny. There's no way I'm turning my back on her. Not when she's reaching out to me. You're gonna have to keep an eye on her. Me? Yeah, Debbie can't face her. Well, I can't. I've got to nip out. Well, if she's staying, I've got to get some nappies. Well, that can wait. What, hardly? I'm asking for a bit of support here. Yeah. I'll be five minutes, OK? Well, it's gonna have to be, isn't it? Why don't you answer my calls? Why don't you answer mine? All oh, right, yeah, so you call Chaz instead. Listen, I've hardly slept all night. You promised we'd tell her about us. Yeah, together. You, you go behind my back, she's going to think I haven't got the guts to tell her myself. Well, maybe you haven't. What? It's what you do, Cammy. You string me along, it's what you do. We need to tell her. I get that. Well, then. Yeah, but is now the right time? I mean, she's just lost her sister. She's a wreck, and so are you. We should wait till the funeral's oh, out. Oh, what? Another reason not to do anything, right, yeah? You tell her now she's going to be asking questions. Like, like how long's it been going on? Where have we been meeting? You said the wrong thing. It could come out about Jenny. I'm not going to mention Jenny. Are you sure? I mean, look at you. you... Maybe we should wait until... I rest. need to talk to her. Why? To make yourself feel better? Because it won't, OK? You're just being selfish. Don't. Dad? Seriously, not now. You wouldn't let me talk to Nicola. You're not stopping me from doing this. It's what we agreed. No-one's forcing you to stay. Sorry, it was open. Yeah, no problem. I couldn't get away any earlier. Well, it's fine. You, you're here now. Um, I'm surprised you called. We can't avoid each other forever. I suppose not. I'm glad you told me. You know about what really happened to Jenny. Make you feel better, did it? <sighs> Hardly. Because if you're expecting good news, well, it's just not going to happen. You still hate my guts, don't you? I could have just lied to you. I get it to render. But you and me, we've done enough for that, haven't we? Yeah. You deserve to hear the truth. Right, it's hard to get away from it. Well, the truth is what matters, though, isn't it? I mean, no matter how painful it is, you can't go through life not hurting people. It's just not possible. What are you trying to say? Honesty isn't selfish. Debbie, you're sort of freaking me out. And leave me short-staffed? No way. Look, there was nothing wrong with that car. Stop wallowing. Oh, finally! Hey? Chaz is not happy with you. Five minutes, you said. She's had to take Molly round to Priya's. Well, where is Chaz? Gone to Dibby's. Really? Surprised you didn't get an invite. Why would they want me there? Why would anyone want you anywhere? Moody beggar. You're in shock. We both are. I mean, what you saw with Jenny, oh, nobody should ever have to see that. Why are you being nice to me? Because I care about you. We both do. Me and Cameron, we just want to help. That's not why I wanted to see you. Please don't shut me out, Debbie. This last week, I have never felt so alone. I miss her so much. Oh. I miss her smile, her weird clothes, that look she used to give me when I was getting on her nerves. She was just so funny and clever. I just want her back. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Charles. No, no, never say sorry to me. Not you, after all that I've no, done. No, don't. Don't say that. I loved her so much. And I know you did, too. God, this is so tough for both of us. We're going to help each other through it, aren't we? I want a traditional funeral. You know, proper church thing. All the hymns. Do you think Brenda would go for it? Because she's not religious, is she? But 
Well, neither are we. It just, just feels right. Maybe you can say a few words. Obviously, if you if you're not up for me and you, Chaz, it can't be like it was. Please don't say. I that. wish it could. Talk but... to me. Oh come on, kid! I'm not stupid. I can tell you're hiding something. I don't want to hurt you. I'll get rid of that. Okay, I'll go. Stingle. Hi. Sorry to bother you. Is this a good time? Uh, not really, no. All the same, can you give us a moment? Is this about Jenny? I just need to speak to Miss Dingle on her own. If you've got something to say about my sister, I want to hear it. You don't mind, do you? Can you not talk to him? Fine. Where's my sis? Still at Debbie's. How would I know? It's really messed things up for you, this, hasn't it? What? Bringing my family together. Why would I have a problem with that? Because you spent the last year trying to tear us apart. Kane, I think you've played your part in that and all. 320. Surprised you haven't joined them. Or do you only visit Debbie when Chas isn't around? I haven't got a clue what you're talking about. Hey, there's a police car outside Debbie's. Is there? Yeah. Did you see Debbie or Chaz? No, no, but someone's kicking off. Hey, you don't think, um... Uh... No, how many more times you've done out wrong? I know an innocent man when I see one. So you didn't see anyone else on the road? Miss Dingle? She's upset. We both are. I, I know, but this is important. So as far as you can remember, there were no other vehicles involved. It's just Jenny. And you're positive about that? Yeah. Thing is, a new witness has come forward. So we're looking at the possibility that Mrs. Walker might have been run off the road. What? Are you absolutely sure that there's not something you forgot to tell us? The witness saw a car closely following Mrs. Walker. According to them, they were driving erratically. Well, what do you mean, erratically? That's what we're trying to establish. But it could be that someone was trying to overtake on a blind bend. Drove Jenny off the road? That can't be right, can it? I don't know. She was an inexperienced driver. It might well have contributed to the accident. Are you absolutely sure you didn't see a dark-coloured saloon pass you at the time? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Who is this witness, anyway? Why have they only just come forward? Uh, they've been away a few days. A headline in the courier jogged the memory. Oh, I don't believe this. Look, I realise this is a lot to take in. Do you hear what he's saying? Yes. Well then, please, Debbie, think. Because if someone is responsible for this, then we need to know. You should be out there looking for this car. We're doing everything we can. We hoped it would jog your memory. But don't you think she's trying? She knows how important it is. I'm so sorry. Didn't the witness get a number plate or something? I'm afraid not. Look, I realise how upsetting this is. But if you remember anything at all... Yeah. You'll be the first to know. I just want her home. So we can say goodbye. I know. I'm sure it won't be long now. Sorry to interrupt. Can't be true, can it? I mean, who'd want to do that to Jenny? 